Good afternoon. My name is Susan Lyons, and I welcome you all to the Fall 2017 University Honors College Lecture Series. Today, we will have three speakers who will present their thesis projects. I will introduce each of them one at a time. Our first speaker is Morgan Murphy. She's a senior studying public relations. She'll graduate in December and plans to pursue a career in Christian resource publishing and enroll in the Master's in Media and Communication program at MTSU next fall. Please welcome Morgan. Hey everybody, thank you for having me this afternoon. Um, like Ms. Susan said, my name is Morgan. I'm studying public relations. I have a minor in marketing and leisure sport and tourism studies and I did a thesis on educational pedagogies and, cur and character development. Yes, I'm serious. I really did. Um, so hang with me through this. I chose this project because I needed a curriculum to use in my classes of kindergartners through sixth graders at my church. Obviously, there are a lot of curriculum options out there, but I couldn't find one that I really enjoyed teaching but could, and could also reach a wide age range. Um, I've always loved that the Honors College encourages to be well-rounded students, so I wanted to take a step out of my um, academic path and try something new. Um, with my background in journalism and design, I felt confident heading into the project that I could clearly communicate both visually and through the written word what I wanted to say. Journalists write in a very clear and concise way, and that's what I try to do with this curriculum. I wrote every activity, review question, game, everything, and I also designed and laid out each page. Um, so my thesis is a creative project. I wrote 11, an 11 lesson series on the fruits of the spirit for kindergarten through sixth graders. And in each lesson, I applied different educational pedagogies I learned along the way, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. First off, what are the fruits of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So why did I choose the fruits of the Spirit? Um, they are biblically, biblically based, but they're not exclusive to Christianity. Um, you're going to be hard-pressed to find somebody that's going to argue with you that you don't need to be kind. So um, you can take it out of the biblical worldview and still apply it to other things. Um, it's also practically easily broken into a series. Um, so I did um, an introductory lesson, one lesson on each trait or fruit, and a conclusion. Um, so what's a pedagogy? It is the art, science, or profession of teaching. And that's really what I based my academic component of the thesis on. Um, I looked at several pedagogies and here they are. So the first one is Montessori. Montessori um, was the main one that I applied and it was founded by Dr. Maria Montessori in the early 1900s. It's now viewed as a great educational path. Montessori encourages learning via a prepared environment and that's one in which everything is purposefully chosen. Um, from the music playing to the posters on the wall to the games played, everything is for a purpose. Montessori is also designed for three to six year age gaps, and I wrote my curriculum for a six year age range. Studies have shown that a wide age range is beneficial in a classroom, and older and younger children both benefit from those interactions. Next is scaffolding. Um, scaffolding can best be explained with this example from the Iris Center at Vanderbilt's Peabody College. When I taught my daughter to ride her bike, I sat on the bike to demonstrate how to ride. I started her out with training wheels, then I gradually raised the training wheels. Once she was ready to remove the training wheels, I steadied her with my hand and walked beside her, and only then did I let her take off on her own. Um, without scaffolding, the instruction might sound like, when I taught my daughter to ride her bike, I explained to her how to do it, then I put her on the bike and gave her a shove. Um, so scaffolding has been seen as like a superior way to give instruction. It provides a basis for future learning and application. Um, in my curriculum, I applied scaffolding in the form of review questions. So I might at start with the question um, in the lesson on love, what is love? And then move to what does love mean to you? And then move to how can you show love to people around you? Being able to apply love shows a deeper understanding than simply repeating a definition of the word. Next is service learning. Um, service learning combines educational goals and community service to increase learning and in the common good. Service learning has been encouraged by the federal government even because it has also been shown to increase civic responsibility. In the curriculum, service learning is applied via, portion, via a portion of activity sessions titled Make It Real. 
um, that's a time for students to apply the trait that they've learned about. For example, in the lesson on kindness, kids are asked to become pen pals with an elderly person, either in the church or the community. It allows kids to apply kindness to real life situations and provide something to someone else. Because of this, service learning has been shown to foster emotional intelligence as well. Next is peer assisted learning. Um, peer assisted learning and Montessori go hand in hand. The biggest draw of both pedagogies is the multi-age group setting and that was something that I was really going after. That was the main purpose of my project. Peer assisted allows students to work together to learn something. It's been shown that we can also learn through teaching and that's what peer assisted learning gives students the opportunity to do. Each lesson also has a small group portion. This is a time for older students in the class to really take hold of that lesson's trait and apply it to their lives, but also help younger children find those application spots. Finally, we have the reflective model. So I chose the what, so what, now what reflective model pioneered by Terry Borton. It's since been adapted by a few different people, but reflection improves self-awareness and confidence. It encourages students to add meaning to experiences and promotes critical thinking. Each lesson has a time of reflection, whether individually or in small groups, as I previously talked about. Okay, so let's look at the curriculum. So this is the first page of the first lesson. Um, as you can see, I've given a list of supplies under the preparation area. And um, that's something that always really frustrated me when I was looking at curriculum. I would have to look through every paragraph of the lesson to find what I needed. Um, I listed everything right here. I also have scripture references on the sidebar throughout the whole curriculum. Um, I chose a color palette of aqua, yellow, and coral. It's playful and looks like a children's curriculum, but it doesn't like overwhelm you. You still see the words on the page, and that's the purpose of the curriculum, um, so that it can still be easily taught. So here is the inside of the lesson. Each lesson looks like this. Um, it's cohesive throughout. Um, so the lesson starts and they are looking for different fruit around the room and each fruit has one of the fruits of the Spirit written on it. Next they're encouraged to think about the difference between a healthy fruit they're shown and a rotten fruit and how our, our actions impact our fruit that we bear. Next students are given the letters of the fruit of the spirits one at a time to unscramble the words. So this is just reinforcing the um, fruits of the Spirit that they've already seen once because the next 10 weeks are built upon the basis of knowing the fruits of the Spirit and now what do they mean. Um, in the small group portion, students are broken up into groups that have at least one younger child in kindergarten through third grade and at least one older child in fourth through sixth grade. So this allows that peer assisted learning and the Montessori aspect to really come into play. The lessons grow as the curriculum continues, which applies scaffolding. The cur curriculum could not begin with asking deep questions and application because they don't even know what the fruits of the Spirit are yet. So we have to start with that basis. Um, so with that, that's my project. So any questions? Awesome. Thank you, guys.